Hey, hey coaches, welcome to another edition of Talking Football with Coach Mackey. I'm your host, Coach Mackey, and this is day nine for my 30 to 30. Uh, welcome, you, uh, YouTube, if you're watching this, this is the first time visiting my channel, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I talk about all things football. That is what my channel is about. Facebook, welcome. If this sounds good, if this is something you want to talk more about, give me a thumbs up and put in the comments down below what you want me to talk about. Today, or if you've been following me since this weekend, I've talked about divide against one high, uh, divide against two high, and now I'm going to talk about divide special. And special is when you really get some good things, man. It is freaking unbelievable. Juan, what's going on, man? Thank you for joining us. Uh, when you just come in, hey, let me know where you're calling in from while I'm doing my 30 for 30. I love talking to y'all. Sounds good. Thumbs up. Give me a heart. All those fun things. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about divide special. Now, special in the run and shoot tells these two guys to switch responsibilities. That is all it talks about. It doesn't talk about anything else or is it switch. I don't know. I call it special. If, if it's switch or, or swap or something like that, that's fine. Remember, here's one thing. One, uh, run and shoot purists that know it like the back of your hand. Please don't crucify me. Uh, if I get something wrong. And two, I like to call this special. I don't know if it's swap or switch or anything like that. Special to me is just what it is. It, it's telling my kids, hey, this is a special tag, so we're gonna do something different. What I'm gonna do on the outside, nothing changes for the L and the R. It is an outside release vertical. If you can't beat them deep, break it inside. Same thing over here. That's not where the magic happens. The magic happens with these two guys right now. So before we get into it, let me go ahead. I saw some coaches saying morning and everything. Sonny, what's going on? Gerald, Jared, I think, good morning from Connecticut. Uh, Ian Tatum, what's going on, coaches? Again, if you're just joining me, my name is Ron Mackey. Uh, YouTube, this is my channel. I talk about all things football. If that's something you want, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Uh, Facebook, welcome, you're part of the group, tag other coaches in, get them in here so we can talk about the Divide Special. I have been jonesing for the run, run and shoot because of June Jones, there you go. So, Divide Special, what happens is these two are going to swap responsibilities. Normally he is going and attacking this guy and he's running the seam read, that's not the case. Special, he now is outside releasing and I'm gonna draw it up against two high. Tomorrow I'll do uh, one high because I like that theme of going on so it's a little bit. He is outside releasing and then he is going to attack the near safety. We want to divide the safety, make him choose one uh, route or the other and the beautiful thing is whatever he chooses, he's wrong. So he's outside releasing. He's trying to get into the frame, want to step on his toes, and then what he does is he breaks it across his face. He wants to stay away from the safety. He doesn't want to run his post all the way over here because now if he does get the ball, which he can, he's going to run right into that safety. That's a kill shot. That's a highlight film for that safety. We don't want that at all. So we want to run a skinny post. While he's doing this, the F is outside releasing, and he is going to aim for one yard outside the hash. Remember, he doesn't make his break. Neither of them make their break until they get through the under coverage. What is the under coverage? It is this linebacker. If this linebacker is dropping back, well, they keep running vertical because they haven't passed through the under coverage. What you will see is when you're first starting out with this, they will make, if you give them a certain yard markage, like, hey, 10 yards, then you make your break, this guy could drop to 10 yards, and he's still making his break, and it screws the whole thing up. So you've got to go, you make your break after you get through the under coverage, after you get past this linebacker. Once he does that, then he just continues up, or he can break it across or sit down, depending on what happens. And that is the beautiful thing about this, is it's this guy right here is always wrong it, always if you read it right the quarterback we got a six-man protection how i would block it up is half slide so this is the the man up here and here three step you're looking to see right here can you get it yes throw it if not then you would just plant and then you would go one to two this right here is the os What's the OS? If you follow me for a while, it's the oh shit. <laughs> that's when the quarterback goes, oh shit. And then he goes to something else. So that's how it is. One or yes. If, if this is a yes, then throw it. If not, one, two, oh shit. That's simple. 
Linebacker, I mean, a tailback does it like that, okay? The outside releases are how this play can beat man too, right? Yes, turn their hips, then break across the under coverage face. One slot goes under safety, the other one goes above safety. Yeah, that's, that's really what it is. It's, it's the run and shoots uh, three um, vertical. It's the run and shoots four verts at a three by one. That's all this play is. And what it is is you're dividing the safety, wherever that safety is. The more you study it, the more you realize the run and shoot is unbelievable because it just makes one guy wrong, and then it has secondary routes inside of it. I freaking love it. It's This right here is the answer to the match quarters and all of that stuff because they're getting smart with the run and shoot. I mean, the air raid plays, all of that is um, – they're repping it. Defenses are over and over again. I've talked to many coaches, defensive coaches, and they say, hey, we have a period where we just rep uh, air raid plays. Y cross, four vert, stick, all of that. So my kids can know it and they see it over and over and over again. Well, how do you combat that? I think it's to go back to the run and shoot, what this is. Because now this is more vertical than break, where the air rate is more horizontal. Horizontal defenses can pass it off, you know, like kind of like a matchup zone. I used to be a basketball coach. We did the one three one matchup zone. It's unbelievable because you can pass through cutters. You can be like, hey, there's a cutter, get it, get them, get them like that. Well, that's essentially what defenses are doing now. But if you go vertical, you're using the rules against themselves, the defensive rules against the defense, and it turns a lot of things into man-to-man. -man. And if you go back and watch, watch the Hawaii film from last year, watch the, uh, the Roughnecks this year, a lot of them are throwing the one-on-ones. Why? Because they practice it every single day, and to them, one-on-one -on -one is one-on-none. They believe that the, the way they structure things, the way they practice and all of that stuff, that lends themselves to an advantage because they practice the one-on-ones all the time and it's nothing. They don't get that TB, that tight butthole, where they, they're like, oh, it's one-on-one, -on -one, I can't do it. I can only throw it to wide open people. Now, I'm not saying that they're not gonna be wide open. The run and shoot does lend itself to having some wide open people. If you go back, not this week or last week, I think it was, uh, the Roughneck scored on 60 go because this guy right here who was running the go route or the seam route was so wide open because two people jumped the flat and it was wide open, so they made a play. So that, that's the whole thing I'm, I'm loving. All right, so again, special. These guys are switching responsibilities. Tomorrow I'll do special with one hide, then I'm gonna go with swap, which is what these two guys are, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. I wanna check out. Uh, this is so smart. Thank you, Ford, Coach Ford from Alabama, Coach Jones from Camden. Hey, stay, stay safe, buddy. We, I know what you're talking about. So do you. There we go. Coach Lee, what's going on? Um, Coach Butler, hello. Thoughts on a quick hitch from R? A quick hitch? Um, not, not in this play. I mean, you can do it later on. Steven, what's going on? Hey, another air raid, buddy. Uh, run through the under coverage. That's right. Let's see, Coach Trotter, what's going on? Thanks, I'm glad you like the run and shoot videos. I'm loving doing them. Good morning, Coach Palmer. Uh, Coach Reigns, what's going on? Here we go. All right, hey, thank you all so much for joining. This is, again, this is day nine for my 30 for 30. If you want me to go over anything else, put them in the comments down below. I get these, I get these videos straight from y'all. Y'all are freaking awesome. High fives, high fives, butt slaps and butt slaps, baby. Okay, hope y'all have a great day. And until next time, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.